Okay, this section is called Relations and Functions. Uh, about everything we'll be looking at will at least be a relation, but we'll also come up with a test to see if something is considered a function. Some of the key terms, we're going to talk about domain and range, which will be pretty straightforward. And the vertical line test will be a method for testing if something is a function. Okay, it's this simple. Domain is simply all the x values given, and the range is all the y values given. Domain x, range y. So if they give you a couple problems like what follows, number one, they, they could list it like a column. They'd say, okay, here's all my x values, here's all my y values, and they said, what is the domain and what is the range? Well, for this, you'd say, okay, the domain is all the x values, 2, negative 3, 0, and 8. And the range is all the given y values, 4, 5, 7, and negative 2. And if by chance a value showed up twice in either the domain or the range, you don't have to write it twice. Okay, they might give you a set of coordinates or ordered pairs like this, and as you know, each of these is an xy pair. So if they ask you the domain in this problem, you'd say, okay, the domain is just go across 2, 0, 4, negative 5. And the range is let's see, we have 3, negative 5, 8, and 3, but we won't repeat ourselves and say 3 twice. So 3, negative 5, and 8. That would be your range. Now, it's not in your study guide, but something to be reminded of. Okay, deciding if an equation is linear or not. I'll give you a couple examples down here. Examples of linear equations. Something that would be in the form y equals negative 5x y equals 2x plus 3 and they can scramble the order perhaps and write it like 3x minus 5y equals 8. Those are all examples of linear equations. Equations that are not linear or nonlinear would be any time you have something that has a power other than 1 for the variable, because this is the same as negative 5x to the 1, 2x to the 1. If you had something like y equals 3x squared, whereas this would be a straight line, the square makes the line curve and bend. So when we say linear, we're talking about a straight line. And it could be another power, y equals 1 half x to the fifth. Again, that would not be linear. Or if you have something where x is on the bottom, y equals 1 over x, this creates a shape called a parabola. So linear, just basically look, make sure there aren't any powers like squares, cubes, and so on, and make sure you don't have an x in the denominator. And one other reminder, I'm going to remind you this in the future, Whenever you see f of x, that means the same thing as just y. So an expression that says f of x 
equals 2x plus 3 means the same exact thing as if it said y equals 2x plus 3. So just remember, you see f of x, think y. Now we have something called a vertical line test. This is to determine if a relation is a function. If you can draw a vertical line and it can pass through more than one point, it fails the test and it is not a function. Some people get this switched around 180 degrees. Okay, if it fails the test, it is not a function. So if we look at this first one, there's no place that we can draw a vertical line that will hit more than one time. So this passes the test and we say yes, it is a function. We come over to the second one and we could draw a vertical line here. It's going to hit twice. So right there we don't have to draw any more. This fails the test. So we say no, it is not a function. And they will do ones not just plotting points, but a continuous set of points, also known as a line. Is there anywhere we can hit this line more than once drawing a vertical line? No. So it's going to pass the test and we say yes, this is a function. Okay, what do you think about this one down here? Looking at the points that are plotted, you think that is a function or is not a function? If you said it's not a function, you're right, because right here, you could draw a vertical line that hits twice. So, no, it is not a function. Take a look at the next one. Let's see what you think about that. You think that is a function or not a function? Well, let's see. If you said no, you're correct. There's several places we could draw. We only have to draw one where it hits twice and it fails the test. Maybe you drew your line over here. If there's anywhere at all that you can draw a line and it hits more than one time, it fails the test and no, it is not a function. Okay, so what did we learn today? Domain is all x values. Going back to our previous example maybe written as ordered pairs and columns. Domain is all the x values, range is all the y values. And if a value repeats like it did here, don't write it twice when you're naming the range or domain. We learned what linear equations look like. They do not have any exponents higher than one. These are examples of nonlinear ones that they cause the line to curve or bend. And we talked about f of x means just the same thing as y. You could substitute y in for f of x and it means the same thing. And we learned the vertical line test, how to determine if something is a function or not. If you can draw a vertical line and it hits more than one time, as it did here, it fails the test and it's not a function. And that's it.